Welcome back to another Piware tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the visuals editor, mainly the first tab, the uniform and equipment tab, and how you can use it to manipulate the different models within your real view window. Let's jump right in. Um, there's a couple things that are really important to remember about Piware. And um, as we get going into this, uh, I'll try to elaborate on those. Uh, but essentially, if uh, you create members on the field, like we'll grab some people, we'll put them here. Let's go just an easy peasy line here. Nine people, two step interval. Now they're going to default to an X, which is just going to be a marching performer. Okay, so if you look at them, they don't have any instruments. They have a uniform on. It'll come with a default uniform. This is my custom uniform. So um, these are my, the uniform of my students at my school. Okay, and if you change their label in there, uh, if you change their symbol, um, they tend to, uh, there's some defaults in Piware that change them. So if you make their symbol an F, and they're all F's, you'll also notice they become flutes. Okay, and some of these have, uh, some of the letters and symbols have already a, um, you know, default instrument to the letter. It makes sense. And um, it, what's important to remember is that if you want this to be different, if you don't want them to be F's, but you still want them to be flutes, uh, like say you put their label as F1, flute 1, you can make their symbol whatever you want. Like, I like to use a lowercase s, which turns them all into dots. I think that looks very clean and clear to me, but you'll notice that lowercase s makes them snare drummers. Okay, so um, what you need to do is use your visuals editor and go to uniform and equipment, and you can make them whatever you'd like. Now, be careful because I've had people do this where they design their drill, they get to page four, which is the set that they want uh, all of their, you know, their big first hit set where the kids hold and will do choreography, and they, they label all their kids there at set four. So if I turn these flutes into flutes here using my visuals editor, woodwind, drop down flute. So now they're going to be all flutes when I hit apply changes. That looks great. But when I go back to page one, they're snare drummers again. So what you need to do always is make your change on page one, count zero or whatever your count zero is. So we'll go back to count zero, make them flutes and they should be flutes the whole time. Okay. So whatever you put them here at count zero, that's what they'll be. Okay. And then if you want to change them later, say you have a random crazy snare drum feature from page three to page four where all the flutes put them down and play their snare drums. Yes, you can change them there to their snare drum and they'll be flutes. And when they hit page three, they pick up their drums. Okay. So it's important to remember, always make your changes or at least uh, your, your baseline changes at count zero. And you should, you know, practice with this. If you're new to Piware and you haven't taken my tutorial yet, you should go through this and check out what they offer. They have a couple of male marchers, male guard, uh, female marchers and female guard. One of the guard I like to use is guard uh, three, the female guard three uniform style with no hat, just because it contrasts with the grass pretty well and you can really tell a difference between uh, the, the guard members and the winds and percussion. Okay, you want to make them guard and they can either have a flag like flag one or you can give them no equipment. Maybe they start the show on all dance and they're going to dance from the beginning and then right at page three, uh, that is where they are going to pick up flag one. Then they can dance through page one to two, page three to four, and then all of a sudden they pick up their flag at page three and they are ready to go. So that is kind of the quick and easy on how to create uh, performers and put the right equipment in their hands, uh, regardless of how you use labels and symbols. So I hope this helped you. I hope that this tutorial was 
kind of quick and succinct and can help you plan your next setup for your drill file. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in the future.